do a little bit of um, easy PDF stuff just to say, show you how things are coming on or how um, you figure out how to use easy PDF. We're going to do a Q&A and then also we are going to do, um, there's one more thing, just stitching basically. I'm on page two of the project um, doing stitches retreat. By the way, I want to introduce myself. I would show you my face, but um, the camera is a little bit complicated to get in this situation, in, in this particular place. So I have to kind of, you know, keep it where it is and, you know, move on from there. So if you're on, say hi. Um, if this is the first time watching, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Portia Parcher. Um, I started this extreme cross stitching series because I had a ton of people ask me, like, what's extreme cross country? What are you doing? Like, that's insane. I want to try it. How do I do it? So I decided to start this um, series. And so we're on video six now. If you want to see the other videos, um, I'm going to post the link. Or if somebody can post the link, it's stitchtalk.portiaparcherfitness.com. Um, and that's going to take you to the photo album that actually has all of the videos there. So you just click on whatever video you want to take a look at. And then you go ahead and click on the link that's inside that little but that um, photo album. Anyway, so if you're on, say hey. I love to see who's on and communicate with people. Let me make sure I turn all my sounds off because it's going to be a hot mess if you hear all these Facebook sounds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. So first of all, I am using Easy PDF. Now, Easy PDF is an awesome resource. Basically, how it works, I'll go ahead and I'll show you. Oops. It went to the wrong page. Here we go. Okay, this is page two that I'm on. Um, I am working on this symbol right here. It's a heart symbol. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend like I'm working on this symbol. What you do is, first of all, the Easy PDF app is available inside of, well, some people are using Amazon Underground, which you just go to Amazon, you type in Easy PDF, it'll pop up there, and you, I believe it's still free for that full version. Or you can go to your, I don't think Android has it anymore, Apple has it, I believe, unless things have changed since the last time I checked, which is totally possible. Who knows? Um, so definitely take a look at that to get access to the app. So um, once you're gonna do what you're gonna do once you get this app going, and I use Blue Stacks, which that's a whole other video for a whole other time. I have videos on how I use this on my computer. So if you don't have a tablet, it's okay, girl. I don't have a tablet either. Hopefully, my husband's gonna buy me one, a Kindle Fire. I'm trying to work on them for my birthday. My birthday is September 14th, and I'm like, please buy me the Kindle Fire. It's like eighty dollars. Come on, great birthday gift, right? I believe so. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. So if I was stitching this other Hold on, let me pull it up. If I was stitching this symbol right here, I would just, hold on, long press it. And then I would go search. Make sure case sensitive, whole word, yada, 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 all this stuff. You can go from the first page or the current page, it doesn't matter. And I would go OK. And then as you run through this document, actually just go down here and press on the 9. You'll see everywhere where that symbol is okay but as for cross stitching I stitch from um, the most number of stitches to the least number of stitches okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna actually highlight this other thing that I need so I'm gonna highlight that it's gonna search it I'm gonna actually go from current page make sure case sensitive whole word is on go to okay we can move on with our lives we're on page 10 and I want to answer some of your questions as well how I'm going to do that and stitch at the same time, you know, who knows. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start stitching once I get your questions up here. Okay, and I'm not seeing any comments. Is anyone commenting? Usually I have some people saying hi. There's about 70 people on. So I'm a little concerned that I'm not seeing comments. So I'm actually going to put it, pull it up on my phone real quick just to make sure. Typically I try to do the videos for 30 minutes, but sometimes, you know, the struggle is real. And uh, I end up talking too much. So, okay, I do have some comments. Okay, I'm just going to leave and this then up. As you run through the okay. All right, Robin, hi, Daisy, hi, Catherine, hi, Beth Ann. Okay, I'm just going to have to prop this up over here to see if there's any comments. Anyway, I'm going to start stitching once I get 
my stuff going. So I the color I'm using right now is 3371. And once I pull it out, I'm going to go ahead and start. So if you're on, say, hey, hey, Cassie. I hope that you are stitching. If you're stitching right now, give me a heart. I want to see who is actually getting some stitching time in. It's important to get your stitching time in. It's the truth. All right, I'm just cutting a piece of floss. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I've been traveling for the past, I don't know how long. Life is cray cray. We are moving to Colorado. So I've done a lot of traveling and we were just in Colorado and it's been literally crazy. So um, I'm back in Sarasota now. We don't live in Sarasota. My husband is painting his um, uncle's house. Hey, Helen. Hey, Jean. So I'm going to go ahead. I wish you could see this and I would show you if I literally need to get two cameras. Maybe I convinced my husband to get me a candle fire and two cameras or one other camera. I don't know your computer can even handle two cameras but maybe we'll see okay <coughs> Robin you're eating ice cream girl what kind you eat in I wish I were you right now if only okay <laughs> um, let me go ahead and actually start and I want to answer some questions too so one of the questions I got in that post I'm telling you I don't know how I'm gonna stitch and answer questions I gotta make it big cuz I can't see okay all right, so somebody asked, it was Carrie, actually. I have names here, too, so that's good. Carrie asked, is it only considered extreme if you go across the entire width of the piece? So the way I stitch Carrie, which is um, the actual definition, I guess you could say there was a definition of extreme cross country, basically means that, hold up, let me find my spot right quick. Okay, I'm not her. Okay, basically means that you're stitching one color across the entire piece. Lizzie, okay, so with Easy PDF and um, iPad, I'm not sure. I've heard that it does not work as well on iPad as it does on Android. I don't know why, but that's what people say. Chocolate raspberry truffle ice cream. I'm so jealous. And I'm stitching tent stitch. All right, hopefully um, you can see this. I seriously need two screens. Things I need in my life. Okay. Oh, it looks kind of discombobulated. That's okay. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just doing the loop start real quick. Okay. Um, see, if I could see the questions from uh, next time I'm actually going to print out the questions because it's way easier let me just get a few stitches in before I start answering questions one two three you know I only stitch oh did I not go right no it's fine one two three okay I usually stitch um, I actually only stitch this piece on sometimes Wednesdays and Fridays. Typically on Wednesdays I try to do um, an actual cross stitch video like a on my fitness page I do like Q&A and uh, stitching Q&A and I stitch and people hop on and ask questions about fitness or stitching or whatever. Alright so I'm trying to be very careful with my tension and honestly I actually stitch quite faster than this believe it or not. But, um, I mean, I don't know how fast people stitch, but I typically f stitch faster than this. Okay, let me, um, and basically I want to show you kind of how I do stuff. I'm doing half crosses right now. Okay, so I answered Carrie's question. How do you not make mistakes? Sylvia asked. All right, Sylvia girl, let me help you out. So how do I not make mistakes? I count and count and count and count and count again, pretty much. Um, I hate counting actually, but it's what I do so I can enjoy my life cross stitching, honestly. So I just count and I just keep, keep counting. Hey, Annie. And, uh, that's basically what I do to end up my, make mistakes. Um, what else do I do? Hmm. Um, I use the grid and 
when you do extreme cross country, you learn your piece so well. Like for my dragon, I know the ins and out of that chart. I know what part is a hand. I know what part is a nose. I know what part is the, the his smile, all that stuff. And um, I know what part goes to the computer, whatever. And I mean, that's really it. You learn to know your your. You really learn your piece, the uh, chart that you're doing. Honestly, I feel better than you normally would. I mean, for me, I just, when I was stitching another way, I was just kind of like in only one part. You understand the piece as a whole. And I think it just reminds me, I feel like I'm an artist when I stitch this way because I see it coming to life, which is like the coolest thing. All right, so I did done a little bit of stitching right now. I'm going to um, do this right here. I'm going to highlight. All you do, oh, let me show you that again, sorry. You're going to click on this T right here. Oh, I don't think you can see the T. Let me hold up. There you go. Okay. You're going to click on the T right here, and you're going to go like this. That's the part I just stitched. You can make it bigger, too, but for this, I'm not. Actually, let me do that because maybe I can see. I've been having, like, eye issues, and I honestly think it's because of stitching. I love stitching, but I'm also not trying to go blind. Like, that's true life. Um, I have glasses, so I don't know, but I've been like squinting a lot, and then my eyes get really tired sometimes, um, and it's been interesting to say the least. So I'm trying to, uh, if you guys, well, I guess you do want to see this part. Let me just make this a little tiny bit smaller. Okay. All right. Hey, Caitlin. Let me answer some more questions. Okay. So that was Sylvia's question. Another question is... Okay, how would you start your first piece if you decided to do this method of stitching? Um, I personally, did I just end here? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm going to go down to right here. Okay, hopefully you guys, and I really wish I could make this, my stitching bigger, but hopefully once we get settled in Colorado, I can like upgrade some some equipment anyway so what's gonna happen is when you decide hey I want to try this extreme cross-country stitching thing you have a couple of options what you can do is you can pretty much decide you know I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go all in and just go for it or you can take the I won't say it's the safer route I just I mean I don't know I was only stitching for literally um, a few months Oh, thanks, Sherry. I hope this is helpful. I did um, a video on how to start a Heaven and Earth design, so I hope that, that you took a look at that, too. Um, so I was only stitching for literally a couple of months. I started stitching in May, the end of May of 2004. No, I got married in 2014. 2015. And then I was like, okay, I need to find something to do with my life. Actually, my friend told me I need to get a life, so that's what happened. I found stitching, so I don't know, I don't think I got more of a life when I did that, but, um, anyway, <laughs> um, I started stitching then, and then I got my first Heaven and Earth design, literally in October, so I was only stitching for several months, and I was self-taught myself, I had no idea how to do anything, I don't even think I watched the video, I think I just looked at, maybe, no, I don't really don't think I watched the video, um, that's pretty much what happened. And I do a little bit of a sewing method. So I would suggest starting with the mini or story keep or quick stitch if you're kind of like, I don't know if I should do this or not. And you're kind of worried about making mistakes. It's really no different. You don't even have to grid, but I do because um, I would die if I didn't grid, literally. I don't really, I'm not really good at counting in the first place, to be honest. So me without a grid is like cray cray. So, I just grid. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, that. And thank you, Sherry. I received that. Thank you for that encouragement. Everybody needs a little bit of encouragement. Sorry, you can still kind of hear Facebook sounds, but it'll be okay. Um, okay, so another question. I like that you guys actually ask questions because this is helpful um, for me to talk about. Um... 
Okay, Marley's asked, don't I find it annoying to constantly be rolling and unrolling the fabric when on a frame? No, and the reason why is I can't show you right now because I really don't want to move the camera, but I am stitching like there's a lot of space on the scroll frame. Like there's a lot. I can actually take a picture later maybe um, and I can show you. I have a lot of room, so I will probably be on this for like literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really feel like it's like 10 rows across, like 10 pages across or something. Like I will be in the same spot this whole time. That's why I love it. However, please do not be deterred from this method of stitching if you have a Q-snap because I literally, hey, Alicia, hey, Phyllis, hey, Robin. Um, I literally had a, I used a Q-snap in the beginning and I, I hated it. Honestly, I really did hate it because I was changing my Q-snap so much. However, um, I, you know, I worked it out. I found a way to make it happen because I literally was going to stop, quit, I was going to quit stitching if I had to go through this one more time. Like going through this whole situation of changing colors every five seconds. I would literally rather not change colors every five seconds and deal with whatever I have to deal with and stitch this way versus change colors every five seconds. I literally just couldn't. And you know, this method of stitching is not for everyone to each their own, honestly. So, you know. All right, let me look at the next question once I'm done with this. Sorry, you guys, the angle isn't that great. And it's because I might actually start stitching this way. Um, I'm actually using a scroll frame, but without the stand. Because, like I said, I'm traveling and the struggle is real. Um, okay, I'm going to check the next question in a little bit. Come on. I also stitched through the eye of the needle. Okay, let me um, answer another question. Do you have to grid to, Jessica Zielinski asked, do you have to grid to do extreme cross country? I was thinking about trying it, but don't know if I should take the time to grid. Okay, um, I suggest gridding because it's easier. It's way easier. Like I said, I dislike counting with, like, I just hate counting. I just do. It's just, you know, I just have accepted it and I moved on, <laughs> honestly. And I really don't like it. So um, I don't like to do it, but it's the only way to survive. So the grid makes it easier because I can see exactly where I'm going. And I always use um, stitches to anchor my stitches. Hey, Kathy. Um, always. And the reason why is because you have to use the stitches around what you're doing to help you. For example, I could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever the number is. I honestly don't know. Instead, I'm going to look and see that, well, you can't see this part, but I'll show you actually with my mouse. I'm going to look and see that there are three stitches right here and I'm not going to count all this hot mess. Anybody need to count all that? I'm going to go uh, uh, right there. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I know that all my other stitches are on point so I can just do this. For those of you who count, I mean that's cool, but you want to make sure that you're on par with everything else. I got mosquitoes or something up in here. Mm -mm. Can I say I can't wait to get out of Florida? Yep. Can't wait to get out of Florida. Woo -woo. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to keep going. One. And then two. Okay. Now. Hold on. One. Two. Over one. If you have any questions while I'm on live, I will answer those as well. Hey, Cheryl. What does down under mean, Cheryl? Does that mean like, I don't really know what that means. Where are you at? Oops, did I stitch that? See, this is what happens. Um, yep, I did. Okay. In... Like I said, this is taking quite a bit of time because I'm talking to you guys typically. Maybe I'll just do a video where I literally just stitch the whole time. I don't know. I like to answer questions, so because that's the point. Um, how do you end that one isolated stitch? Angel asked this. Angel, I use a pin stitch 
which I made a video also about. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. I thought I was Aussie, but I didn't want to be like stupid and stupid that it's something else. Um, okay, so I use the pen stitch. I made a video on this. It is incredible. I suggest you try it. And the video I made is actually really clear. It was back when I was using my cell phone for videos and my husband was doing everything. But, you know, I'm trying to be independent right now. <laughs> well, um, my husband can't be around all the time when I want to do videos and it was just like too much. So I use this system now. Okay. Um... So that's what I do for that. I use a pen stitch, which if I end this piece of floss, I can show you how I do that. Basically, you split the thread and then you go from there. Um, okay, so I'm in a in situation right here. So I'm right here. Stitching these two stitches. I already finished this. So I can either go right here and do this and then move over to here or just move over to here and then come back. Mm, I'll probably just move over here and then come this way. I mean, you can do it whatever way you want. I try not to waste floss. Sometimes it's kind of inevitable. I'm not going to start and end and whatever. Um, this also, you don't really have to count. You can look at where this structure is and just go one, two, and over one. Oops. Okay. Eva, great question. Hey, April. Hey, Lisa. I am using Easy PDF. Um, I made a video tutorial about this, and um, I should have posted it in the link, but I will post in the and after the video. Um, but it's Stitch Talk dot Porsche Parcher Fitness dot com that will take you to the photo album where you will see all of my videos and I did a program I did a video on it it's called easy pdf is what I'm using did I just I made a big boo boo maybe hold on I don't think I did no I'm fine okay easy pdf is what the program is called and I'm using it on something called blue stacks thanks Lisa give me some love I appreciate all the love. So, um, what I use blue stacks, like I said, because I don't have a tablet. Like I said, my husband's going to buy me one. I'm going to speak life and not death. My husband's going to buy me a Kindle for my birthday. I know it. I feel it. Although he can walk in here and be like, I'm not buying you Kindle. He actually said maybe. So that's a good sign, right? I don't know. I just want a Kindle. I'm Well, it doesn't have to be a Kindle. It can be an actual tablet. I don't want an iPad because I ain't trying to pay $500, boo. Yeah, Eva, it really helps that I really have bad eyes. I really honestly think, like, cross-stitching is going to ruin my vision forever, even though I have glasses. But it's okay because I love it. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay, so here I am right here. I have some options. I can start stitching over here. But, oh, you can't see. Hold up. Sorry. Okay, so I can start stitching this part right here. Well, I'm sorry. I can start stitching this part right here. Or it makes the most logical sense to go down here. And the reason why is because my stitch that I'm working on is right here. So it makes the most sense to go right here and then keep going all the way down. And I will probably honestly just do this whole column. I didn't ever thought that I stitched in columns like, is this a row or a column? It's a column. So I never thought I stitched in columns like this. When you get down to this stuff, ain't nobody got time for all this yet. So I do these isolated stitches because they're a pain in the butt at the end, honestly. Um, so I would probably end my stitching around here somewhere and then I would, I mean, sometimes I'll trickle into here. It just depends on what I'm doing. Okay, so let me go back to this. All right, we're almost, time is almost up, but I want to answer all these questions. So I'm going to stay on until I answer all these questions. And I haven't had dinner yet. Do you hear how much I love you? Because I'm hungry. Okay, anyway, so, um, Anne asked, um, oh, she didn't ask. Awesome, Anne, I'm so proud of you for doing this. It's really a lot of fun. Okay, Elizabeth says, I want to know how you make sure you are stitching the color in the right spot, um, when... 
you do the first color. Okay, so literally, um, Elizabeth, it all has to do with, I get hate and changing color all the time. I do too. It makes my current look a giant pain that I wanted to stop. Okay, so basically, it's literally like, like Anne has said in response to that, I follow the chart. So I just look exactly, I know exactly where I'm going. Hold on, let me show you how. I'm actually going to stitch this right here. Let me see, did it move it? Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Technology. Okay, I'm going to stitch this over here, and I would count this just to doubly make sure it's over. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, I always, like I said, that's literally, that's the answer to that question of how do I make sure I'm stitching the right color in the right spot. It's all about following the chart and it's all about, you know, making sure that easy PDF actually, sometimes, um, there's some symbols and I'll be honest, this is not the perfect system. It is almost unflawed, but the only flaw with doing easy PDF that I personally have found is that when you use easy PDF, um, there are some times when a symbol will be unable to be found because it matches another symbol or it'll like double up on symbol or something. I don't know what it'd be doing, but something along those lines is what it does. And, um, so for example, I have a couple symbols in my dragon that easy PDF is like, uh, uh, like it basically says that it's this one symbol, but it's not. And so it'll highlight two of this two of two different symbols at the same time, and it's a pain in the butt, but it's fine because the reason I stitch most to least stitches or whatever is because I can anchor. And so by the time I get to that point where I have to, by the time I fill in the rest of the all the colors and I leave out you know that one tiny little the maybe it could be five colors out of eighty eight. It's really not a big deal. I can find exactly where I am because the chart helps you do that. I hope that makes sense. Yes, Annie, it totally has. <laughs> hey, Slada, thanks for hopping on. Okay, um, I'm going to highlight this again. This, like I said, slowed down stitching. Maybe next week, I don't even know if I'm going to, where I'm going to, I think I'm still going to be in Sarasota. Maybe next week I can just do a video where I stitch the whole time. Just so you can just watch stitching and I'll have just a big screen of my project and you can just look at that. And not easy PDF and all that. But I wanted to make sure you guys are understanding how to use this. Um, Michelle, my I upload my videos. Oh, look, I'm going to see if I can. I found the link. Okay, let me. Here is the link, my friend, for my videos. Hold up. Oh, darn it. Hold on, give me a second. I'm going to try to post. It's not letting me post. Uh-uh. Okay, it won't let me post. So, never mind. Um, I was going to show you, was going to post the link, but I won't worry about it and I'll do that later. Okay, so Pamela was having an issue that was resolved, I believe. Um, Mel's going to try it on a small chart. Do it, girl, do it. Julie needs to try it. Yes, Julie, I'm talking about you. You need to do it. Just go for it. Um... Penny, okay, this is the last question, actually. Do you mark your stitches before you stitch them? Um, nope. And the reason why, because ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time for that. Like, for rizzles. Um, I don't be doing all that. What I do is, um, I just literally just use the chart. I don't mark anything. I highlight, if that's what you mean. That's what I do. And I showed you how to highlight. I highlight my stitches. And then, um, you know. That's what I do. And that's good. Good night, Annie. Um, when you get that heart on the left, will you carry to the heart on the right or tie off? Great question. Okay, Angela, what I'm doing... Hold on, let me figure out which heart are you talking about. So, what I just did is I was right here when I was stitching. Then I moved over to here, and then I kept going to here. Now, this is where I'm in... I'm not ending anything, but I'm pulling through. Then I'm going to start right here, and then keep going, and then go here, and then go this way. Then go here, this, down, over, down, over, over here, over, over here, over, over here, over, over here, over, here, 
and literally that's kind of how I do it. Um, when it comes to doing officially, Angela, give me like, let me know if that answered your question. When it comes to actually making sure that, or when it comes, what was I going to say? When it comes to like tent stitching and all, the black heart. Oh, the black heart. I'm like, okay, good. Okay, so when I get to the black heart, actually, let's take a look at this real quick. So I'm going to actually highlight the black heart so we can even see. For the black heart, what I would do is I would definitely do a pen stitch for this. But let me just go ahead and highlight real quick. Oops, I did the wrong thing. Whoopsies. When you mess up, just click it and do delete. Alright, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this thing. Okay, so why is it doing that again? Oh, because I didn't search it. Mm -mm. See? It's hunger pains. Wait, hold up. Okay, so this is actually an example where I think... Yeah, okay, so this is an example. I'm glad you said that. So, this is what happened just now. Actually, no, 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 it's not. It actually worked out well. Okay, so you see all these stitches. When I get to this color, like this stitch, this stitch, this stitch, honestly, sometimes I'm lazy and I'll stitch this and then come down here. Like, I'm being real with you. Um, hey, Becky. Um, sometimes I'm lazy and I'll do that. Or instead, what you should do is stitch this, do a pin stitch, then do another pin stitch, stitch this. Mm, you might can carry over over to this. If you want to have a really clean black back, you probably shouldn't. Um, so then I would do another pin stitch if I'm being super careful or whatever. Super picky, I guess you could say. Which there's nothing wrong with being picky. Angela, thanks for asking. This is a good question. Um, then I will go right here, stitch that, pin stitch. This is all in the front of my work. And if you have a question for that, like I said, I did a pin stitch video that's very clear and it helps a lot. Um, I would pin stitch this, pin stitch that, pin stitch. I would just do all this and then end pin stitch. Like a lot of this color, this black heart would definitely be pin stitched. It looks like a lot of it would, um, cause it's confetti. Like it's who, what? Like, I just don't get it. Like why? You know, like it's just too much, but you know, it's for shading and all that stuff. So it really makes a big difference, honestly. So I don't complain really about it it's not my favorite thing but anyway okay so it's 733 and I answered all your questions okay let me um okay so now we're back to normal and my screen is smaller again okay um okay I think that's pretty much it I'm gonna continue actually no I'm gonna go eat <laughs> is what I'm gonna do and then um I will continue stitching and then I can show you progress picks. actually. I'll give you progress picks on Friday, because I only stitch on Friday for this piece, and then on Wednesdays. I'm going to start consistently doing Wednesdays. But when I finish my dragon, honestly, I really kind of want to go and stitch my new vintage love letter. So I was thinking maybe I would finish this piece or start it or um, continue with the stitches retreat. Technically, it's already started, so never mind. It's not what I mean. Um but I really want to do the vintage love letter. So I think I will start vintage love letters and then I will still have three pieces going, which I have the challenge piece. I have a piece I only use for challenges. Then I have this piece, piece and then I have another one um, that I use, the, the dragon. Yep. But anyway, all right. If you have any more questions, feel free to post below or whatever. I'll answer them and then I can also re-answer them in a video next week. Hopefully the time should work out for everyone. If you really think that it's a better time to do 2 p.m., I could kind of kind of switch it up. Give me some love, some likes, some hearts. Holla at your girl. Okay. All right. Love you guys. I hope you're having an awesome Friday. I hope you get some stitching in. If you have any questions, comment below. Thank you for being here and supporting me through this hot mess cross-stitch journey. Woo -woo. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Um, love, peace, and chicken grease. Woo -woo. All right. It's going to give me a, a, may take me a few seconds to end it. Uh, hold up.